Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the 30 minute mission kit, the Spinachio Sengoku type. Now I actually bought this on the same day as the release of the mobile Master Game Mobile Gin. Um, and yeah, I I am amazed by this kit. Now back then I did review a few uh, 30 minute mission kits and they were re really good, but this one was even better. So let's get on to the review right away. So basically story wise this is another search faction from the series. So there's no anime, but if you look at the manual, they do have they do kind of mention about the short the short story about what's going on. So f for the original first uh, uh, 30 minute mission kits, which were the Porto Nova and then the Alto series, they're basically Alto is from the Earth and then the uh, the Porto Nova series they're uh, they're from an alien planet that kind of resembles humans, Earth, and etc. So they basically came through a, some sort of portal gate and started attacking Earth, so which is why they were going on war. After a few years, a third gate, another, not third, but another gate opened up and these guys popped out. So these guys also a, is a new third faction called the Maxian Forces. And this guy itself is called the Spinachio. I hope that's the way how you pronounce it. If there's a different pronunci pronunciation or a more correct one, do let me know. So this is the Spinachio, so basically the base form comparing with the Alto and Porto Nova. And yeah. And once we apply the armor, which was the, the samurai type armor, now that becomes the Sengoku type. Alright, so now let's get on to the review right away. So, so let's talk about components. So first of all, let's go over some leftover parts, just to make things easier. So here we have some leftover polycaps, the ball joints, nothing too special. And here we go. Uh, and let me just change something, there we go. Um, and here are all the equipments that you're supposed to get and use on this kit. So, we'll go on them one by one and I'll be attaching them later. So, first of all, let's go over the armor. So here is one shoulder armor. This one actually has a, a armor plate on it. So these two are actually just connected to a peg. So this armor itself cannot move on its own up and down, but you can rotate left and right. And maybe 360 is also possible. Uh, as you can see, d depending on which joints you, extra joints you have, you can actually attach it on various places, like the side skirts or etc. So yeah, uh, that's that. So that's one shoulder, and here is the other sh shoulder armor. So each shoulder armor is a different design. So once again, this one's more basic going on here, and here we have these clips to attach it onto the shoulder uh, joint, to be more specific. And here is the mask. The mask looks very good. So first of all, here's a mask, and despite looking, uh, and just to make sure these, they also applied some, uh, how should I say, the saf safety nubs, just in case you break them while you know chopping them off. And yeah, definitely looking a badass mask. I really like these kind of stuff. And here are some extra armor. So we get two of these parts, which goes onto the size or slash knee area. So yeah, so that's that. So obviously you get two. Here is the back skirt. But once again, I'm just saying back skirt because the single good type based on the manual. But the, the manual also does mention some other ways to modify uh, these units. So first of all, uh, like this one. So if you look at the manual, so with what you have at the moment, you are able to do this. So this one is a light armor, high mobility unit. So this is just a customized version if you want to do so. It's not really like official or something. Uh, I mean, technically, it would, you, depending on how you look at it, of course. And this one, you need that extra expansion pack with this long dragon arm and then that hat looking thing as well. And or if you bought two of the same things, you can give him a double blade, double shoulder armor, and double everything. So yeah. So keep in mind, these 30 minute mission kits really depends on you yourself. You can go as the manual mentioned, or you can totally make your own, you know, customized version. So for now, for the Sengoku type itself, this one is the back skirt armor. And here is the chest armor, and this one is the back armor. So yeah. And then this one is the crotch armor. No joke. And this one is pretty interesting. So you can actually attach this to the side skirt area using this joint here, and then uh, with this one, you can actually, with that small square hole, you can actually store in your katana or blade like this, like a real samurai. And also, you see that peg over there? This is actually, depend despite how this looks, it, it's mentioned as a beam rifle. So there's a hole there, but if you look at the other side, there's another hole here. So you can actually attach it here and then store both weapons together. Of course, that peg on the, you know, the blade might get in the way slightly, but still, this is a really cool storage mechanism i really love it so that's that and keep in mind like since you can use that uh joint or you can, the sword itself does have a peg here so if you want to do so you can always like i don't know store it on the back if you want to do so so it's really up to your imagination but i am loving this set in general all right so here are some extra hands so currently i gave it the multi-purpose hands for left and right so that's nothing too special over about that 
but we do get three more hands, but two of them are basically uh, open, fully open hands for left and right, so that's that. But you only get one set of hand guards, so every time you swap hands, you need to change, you need to pop. Uh, pull out the hand guards and then reattach it. Now this one, uh, this is a technically a multi-purpose hand, the same shape, but this has a curved angle on the ball joints because for this gun, you can see the handle is not actually 90 degrees; it's actually in an angle. So which is why they provide you this hand so you can hold it in a more you know natural position instead of always being like that. So you get the idea. So so far the. The equipment were amazing. So, and then we have these extra joints. So these are not leftover parts. So basically, I'm going to show you guys later. But once you try to apply the armor, you need to swap out some parts. And those are the two only parts that you need to swap out because of the shoulder armor. Alright, so but before we go on to Spinacho, there's one more thing I need to mention about. So, uh, where is it? So, uh, for those who see my Facebook post or any place I post on, you know, on the internet, this is the box I got. But this is a special edition box. box. So, because this one is a first in limited production, so this is like an initial release event going on here. So, the first like few ones will have this box, and it actually comes with an extra plate. This one. So this is an extra plate. So if you get this, like I don't know, maybe a year later. Uh, you might have a different box, and then you might not have this. So I don't want people getting confused. So here is the extra parts for the event that you get. So we get like an extra gun kind of thing. We get a rod, and we get all sorts of good like joints going on here. These are definitely going to come become useful in the future for me as well. So yeah, these are extra parts for your customization. So yeah. So once if you see this, if it's the same price as the original, definitely go get the extra special one because you get extra parts. All right, so let's go on to Spinachio. So I'm pretty sure everybody's wondering, are they the same size? So that's the part that I really love about this one. It's that it's actually bigger than your standard, you know, 30 minute mission kit. So here is the Alto, the blue colors, and you can see the Spinachio is much taller as well. So which is why size wise, I really like it. And yeah, well now technically this guy is battle ready. This one is not exactly that case. So, but yeah, but of course they are technically like the, the base standard uh, units at the moment. All right, so as you can see, this thing also has a lot more holes compared to the Alto that you just guys saw. There's one on the chest, on the crotch, um, on the sides, and now these these parts, these holes are also one of those joints, but you specific uh, pegs. And then we have ones on each side of the legs as well. Now the feet are kind of on the, on the small side, which is why I actually had some issues making this kit stand up time to time, but still works as well. And um, we have a nice action base connector there. And even the feet on the bottom actually has holes there. I was actually, let, let me check. So as you can see here is the alto feet, no hole. So yeah, they actually went all out on this, this design. And even on the back of the head, there's a hole. There's three holes on the back. Even on the back of the arms, there's holes. Even on the back waist there. Even on the back of the sides, they have holes as well. So that they have a buttload of holes, holes for customization. And once again, I do love the extra visors look going on there as well. Even though there is some sort of eye looking things on the back, doesn't bother me as much as I thought. All right, so before the armor, let's go for the articulation on this base frame as well. So, as you can see, the head can go up that much and then down that much. 360 should be no problem at all, as long as you know where to uh, spin it. Um, the shoulders are your typical ball-jointed shoulders, where so you can just plug them in and then go forward and backward. There's no polycam on, on this section right over here on the, on the shoulder joints. They're just pure plastic. And let's see, the arms can go... Wait, wait. What's going on with my camera? There we go. So the arms can go more than 90 degrees to the side. Technically, you can go out more because of the way how these joints work as well. And then you have a nice 360 twist on the arm itself. And then you can rotate the arm 360 like this. And then we have a nice double bend to joint going on here. Well, not exactly double bend, but you, you get the idea. So, yeah. The, the joints on the arm are still those C-clip type joints. So, yeah. It is this may be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it, but still it, these are 30 minute mission kits So I think that's you know understandable and then we have your typical ball jointed hands Now looking at the back as I mentioned three holes there And then there should be one poly cap on here this section here which connects the red and white part here and then on the bottom as well so uh, Let me check yep there is so you have a nice ab crunch going on here side to side movement is also possible and then 360 on the body is oak okay, is possible 
Now looking at the legs, we have a nice sizable going on here. The legs can go backward and forward as well. And you can also change the position of legs because each of the legs are in that oops hinge position as well. So yeah, I usually tend to put it all the way back in just for the you know the overall looks. And then bend is also pretty much the same way how the C-clip type joints work. And then feet are very small, but we have a nice pivot joint going on here. Now, I believe the way how this works is that the ball joint is connected to the feet, but the the top joint is just a, you know, is just a clip joint. But the feet also has a pretty good range of movement going on here, and with a nice uh, pivot, you can pull out a lot of poses as well. Alright, so... Now before we apply the armor, as I mentioned, there is one part that you need to swap out. So I'm just going to mention this. So here is the standard joint that you use on the Spinachio. As you can see, let's say if we're, we're going to get a shoulder armor like this, you cannot attach it because there's no space between the ball joint and between this round area as well. So, which is why they provide you this. Because between the ball joint, there's actually a small gap there, uh, a long peg gap right over here, which allows you allows the armor to clip on so which is why before you apply the armor you have to actually swap out like this reattach it and use these joints as well so now technically if you can if you want to leave it like this it's okay but once again it does kind of bother me that this there's a big you know gap between the shoulder on shoulder in at that point so which is why i do tend to swap it out time to time so yeah from here on there uh we're going to be applying the armor so uh once again, they're just pretty much your standard like 30 minute mission type armor. So for example, um, let's just say here we have the Psy armor. You just apply it here on the hole. The manual does a great job explaining it. And then for example, the mask, you just, there is a hole on the top of the forehead and there's a peg here. You just need to attach it here. So it's all about like just connecting holes and pegs, etc. So once again, I'll be right back with the finished version of the Sengoku type. Okay, I'm back. So here we have all the armor applied and basically the Sengoku type of the Spinachio. I really love how this thing looks. So first of all, let's start from, start from the top to bottom as usual. So uh, the face, basically you apply the mask on the front. So it's, it just works as a small peg and you just connect them together. Now with the mask on, it's kind of hard to see the inside green visor part as well. You need to be in a very specific angle with a, a, enough amount of light to see the, you know, the inside. But yeah, the mask looks menacing and definitely has that more mechanical look onto it as, as well. And now here, as I mentioned, you need if you want to apply these shoulder arms, you need to use those extra new joints uh, because there's no space for those clips to actually clip onto. So once again, despite all this armor on, the articulation is pretty much the same. You still have the all same articulation going on here, so I won't be going over there as well. So uh, yeah, once again, if you have buy two of the two of these, you can actually have the same armor on each armor. Uh, I mean, each on each shoulder and have double swords. So. So yeah, uh, now I don't have any plans to buy the same thing, but I am actually really waiting for the, the, the now this one is white and red. There is another one up coming up, which is a white and blue combination, and I believe it, it also has some sort of motorcycle. I'm really looking forward for that as well. So yeah, uh, the armor parts, the, this is the front chest plate. There's no hole, but the back plate does actually have one. These, these are pretty much a perfect fit for this one. So uh, you should have no problems applying these armors. And then as I mentioned here is the crotch armor, as I mentioned. And here is the back skirt armor, which seems like if you have extra, you know, like kunai type weapons, or you can kind of attach it there. Uh, so there's a lot of potentials here that I can see for modification or customization as well. So, uh, and then here is the Sai armor. So at first I, f I thought it was kind of odd to apply it like this, but if you don't like that, you can always apply it the other way around as far as I know, like this. So it's really up to your taste and your preference. But once again, I'm just basing this off uh, on the manual. So yeah, because if I were to show you guys every combination that you could make with this, that this would be a very long video. And once again, here is the weapon storage mint. So here is the gun. No, no problem as well. And now you can, as I mentioned, you are able to hold it with the normal hand. But I do suggest with the hand with the angled ball joint. So you don't have to hold it in an awkward position time to time. And keep in mind, like, the gun itself actually has some holes for itself. So the manual does mention that you are able to attach the gun uh, like this as a side, like shoulder, shoulder cannon like this. So really up to you. And then here is the sword, as I mentioned, so you can pull it out, and the whole hand can hold it with no problem as well. And now we finally have a, you know, a katana-type weapon that you can get pretty much easily. Although, yeah, you still need to get this, this kit itself, but who knows, maybe they'll release, you know, a weapon pack for them. 
I should technically get the little one with the long arm as well, but that will be in a future episode, hopefully. And then since this is on here, you can pull it up and down as well. So the gun is no problem because you can rotate it around, but the sword cannot rotate because it's not really a rotating position, but you can go up and down like that. So for those who always wanted to have a samurai style mech, this is your best choice. A lot of people claim that the asteroid is always like the samurai thing, but I say this is a much more better design. Uh, crotch armor, as I mentioned, nothing too special there. And yeah, despite all the armor parts, you still have all the same articulation. Alright, now we've seen all the stuff here, so yeah, I say we can end this off here. So obviously, for those who are more creative, if you, you can always like bring out a Alto or Porto Nova and try to apply the armor parts here, although the arm areas are going to be very different, and as you can see, there aren't as many holes compared to the spinachio so it might feel a little bit limited or you have if you have extra like expansion parts you can also use those as well anyway that's pretty much it for the review this was the review of the 30 minute mission kit the third fa new third faction the maxium forces the spinachio sengoku type if you guys got any questions or requesting comment below i still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out so please stay tuned until then see you guys next time